Brian Bracci. Uh, I went to uh, high school in this town. Uh, Rick Thorpe was a classmate of mine. 1984, a class of 84 at Minichog. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, was a friend, a teammate, uh, playing football for a couple of seasons. Uh, also a terrific person, athlete, and a scholar. Rick's place um, primarily provides bereavement support to families with young children. And our number one goal is to give kids a safe place so that they can meet one another and they can make things that help them remember the person who died while also learning new coping skills and new ways to express themselves. You know, I think for anybody going through a loss of a loved one, mm -hmm. um, I think this place is, is, it provides stability. It provides you with stability. Um, it gives you a sense of support. Um, because that's just probably new for a lot of people, um, experiencing a loss, uh, a loved one and death, and, and just trying to process that and deal with it. Um, this seems to be a very comfortable place where I think people can come, they can get good information, um, and they get resources, and, and they feel supported, and they get some sense of how to go on. Uh, anything about Rick's Place, we, we try to spread the story of Rick's Place so that people are uh, more aware of what we are doing and where their money is going. Uh, if they are donating prizes for our, our coming fundraisers, our golf tournament, um, they know why they're giving and, and knowing that they're giving for a, a worthwhile organization. Heart to Heart is our annual event that happens uh, around um, Valentine's Day. So this year it was, at February, it was February 8th. Um, and it's a fun event where people can come and get dinner, dance to a live band. We've got great uh, items that have been uh, donated from year to year, uh, either as part of our silent auction or teacup auction. Mm -hmm. And um, we always try to bring chocolate that's been donated from area um, vendors uh, so that uh, diners and attendees at the event can get a taste of some chocolate. Um, and it's a, it's a big fundraiser that helps us raise about a third of our budget. Um, we can't do this work without fundraising. Um, we also knew this year we'll be um, running the Rick Thorpe uh, Memorial Golf Tournament, and that'll be in the fall. So in addition to our on-site program in Wilbraham, we also do outreach to the schools. Mm -hmm. We work with the schools to help us identify kids who, for whom they share the experience of someone close in their life dying. And then we are willing to come in and create a group of these kids and work with them once a week for eight weeks. And um, it's been a great partnership with a lot of school districts in the area, meeting the needs of kids during the school day uh, in the school. And we also are available to um, different community groups. For example, we've partnered uh, several times with Bay State Hospice and Bay State Hospital on providing um, just a family activity where the whole family comes and we do a different activities with them. So we'd love to find other um, partnerships with other agencies to do similar programs. Well, I got involved about three years ago when my wife passed. Um, they referred us um, by way of hospice. We started attending the, uh, the groups and it was, it was a great thing for us. Um, so after a while, you know, we've, we've been here, this is our third year now, um, I just felt I wanted to get involved and, and try to give back in a more meaningful way based on what Rick's Place was able to offer my family and I. Well, it provides a, a safe place for these children to come where they can uh, meet other children of their same age group who are going through the same loss, the same pain that they're dealing with. And um, so they know they're not alone and it's a, a safe place for them to come and share their feelings and their emotions. The garden was founded in 1998 by Barbara Weiner Dubeck and um, it's based at the YMCA in Northampton. And similar to Rick's Place, we work with uh, families who have young children between the ages of five and 18, when someone close in their life has died. Um, being in Northampton, more families from Franklin and Hampshire County go to the garden. And um, the program runs on Sunday afternoons and is also uh, free of charge to families. We like to think of it as a fun and happy place. Um, of course, it's sad, the reason that they're coming, but um, I've seen so many friendships that bloom here at Rick's Place. Um, kids that would have never, you know, come across each other um, because they're from different schools, even different towns, so they make new friends. And the adults are also making friends with others, and, um, and so the whole um, 
Rick's Place becomes a community for these families that you know share an experience. Oh, we cannot do this work without volunteers. So uh, go to our website, www.ricksplacema.org, or give me a call, 413-348-3120. Uh, we have two times a year that we typically do our trainings for volunteers, and we're looking for adults that can make the commitment. It's about a six hour a week, uh, six hours every other week commitment, um, and we match them up with a certain group of kids where they will plan and lead the activities, and we provide them um, a cushion of supervision and support so that they um, feel comfortable leading those activities. I think a lot of a lot of times kids and you know they just think you know when they lost a loved one that no one understands them and then when you put them in a room full of 20 other kids who are experiencing the same thing I think it, it, it normalizes it a little bit uh, and the thing that it did for me is it just gave me a sounding board to, to, to talk to other parents to just hear how they're dealing with grief and how it's affecting them and their children um, and it just gave me some, some coping strategies. I was so intrigued and, and amazed by the work that it does, I'm, I'm on the board. And so now I'm trying to lead the organization and, and trying to expand our service area um, and, and trying to expand programs to help more families. I, I would just tell them to try it. I say, listen, it's no pressure. Um, if you don't like it, you can pass. That's one, of the favorite, that's one of our favorite slogans that we live by here. But I would just tell people, listen, just come, listen to what's, what's being offered, and, and, and if you like it, then, then decide to stay. You know, it's, it's a no pressure environment, um, but if you feel um, lost, if you feel that you, know, you, you need some sense of direction for you and or your child to try to get you through that process, mm -hmm. um, this, this is an outstanding place to be. It provides hope, stability. Fun and happy place. Support.